I'm not in this for, for health reasons. I'm in it because I love roast beefs and I'm gonna die happy doing it. Growing up on the North Shore, I always loved roast beefs. Once I went to school and I tried ordering a three-way from a place in Providence, they looked at me like I had three heads. And I was like, holy smokes, like this is just a North Shore thing. Like no one else is doing this. The ideal North Shore roast beef has to be on an onion roll. It has to be griddled with butter. And then the beef has to be cooked basically rare. A lot of the times, uh, if you're not from the North Shore, it's a little more medium beef. And if you're not ready for that medium rare, it'll be a little different for you. And then you need the American cheese, James River barbecue sauce, and mayo. That makes an ideal three-way. The cheese sauce and mayo, I think, is just strictly a North Shore thing. I don't think Arby's or anybody else does that. So all those combined just, just makes the perfect sandwich. That's the best yes. way to have it. Yep, top of the top. Three-way, cheese, American on the bottom, sauce, Gotta be James River and mayo. The sauce to cheese ratio's gotta be on point, and it's gotta be a hot beef. Nice and pink, warm, stacked. It's one of those things like, you know, spaghetti and meatballs. Like, you can't F with it. The simpler it is, the better it tastes. If you were from Revere, there's no doubt that you had a roast beef sandwich at Kelly's Roast Beef growing up. I'll give you what we call the story of the original roast beef sandwich. Some may call it folklore, uh, where it happened so long ago. Kelly started as a hot dog stand right here on the corner, the building that's behind me. Someone said that a wedding got canceled and the roast beef was the dinner for the wedding. And when the wedding got canceled, they ended up slicing roast beef and putting it on a toasted hamburger roll. And from there was the beginning of the roast beef sandwich. There's good rivalry out there amongst the people that are those loyalists for uh, their certain restaurant. There's uh, sites out there, uh, websites and North Shore Roast Beef, different ones that are out there. But we like the competition. We like to have that uh, keeping us on our toes and making sure that we're given the best roast beef sandwich out there. It wasn't supposed to be a big group. It was supposed to be me and my friends discussing the beef, you know, the local beefs, because I was doing it on my regular Facebook page. And like my family was like, can you just stop talking about roast beef? All right, tick, tick, boom. The tone of the group. Happy Monday, go fuck yourself as usual. What's up, fuckers? Just shy of four, sounds familiar. Look at that fucking thing. Look at it. Oh. Go fuck yourself. Hope everyone enjoys your day. Fuck that. Aggressive, but it's all in good fun. It's not real. When I say something to someone, I don't mean it in that way. It's like the North Shore kind of tone. We kind of bust each other's balls, but there's a mutual respect involved. And if you're in the group, you get it. Have a nice day. Derby Sunday. Um, go fuck yourself. Everyone has their place. Every city has 20 places that serve this sandwich. They all have their favorites. They all grew up eating it. It's a, it's a North Shore staple. The group took on this personality of aggressive defending your sandwich, much like politics. Same idea. You have something you like, I don't like that, now we're an argument. With the beef thing though, no one's going to war over it. It's definitely a lot of joking around. People don't usually say stuff on, you know, to hurt people's feelings, but it's all in good fun. It's part of the North Shore lifestyle. You gotta be thick skinned, you gotta be tough, you gotta be able to hang, and you gotta earn your, earn your keep, you know? It's a respect game. Hello. You dropped your keys between the seat and you can't get them out? I'll come help you even though I look like a mess. No, no worries, let's, no. Let's do the good deed for the day. Fuck all you assholes. My extent of in love of the beef goes as, as deep as I had to have a roast beef sandwich at my house waiting for me the day I graduated boot camp from the Marine Corps. Beefing to me has been a long time 
love affair, regardless of where I've been at in life. It's just memories. I, I mean, I'm 33 years old now. You're talking 25 years of me crushing cow on a bun. You know what I mean? It's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, my, my dad um, in Lynn worked at Bill and Bob's on the Lynnway. And actually, I remember my first job was to pick up that parking lot and give me a bag. And I was a kid, I was young, young. And I, I'd have lunch, and my father made me a um, junior. It was mayonnaise on it. And the roll was crunchy. And uh, I can still remember that. I, like, you know, my very first one, I loved it. I, I think I assumed that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I gotta say that, yeah. In a good way, too, it wasn't, you know, you know, this is what my dad does. I love what we do. That's the only secret. We come in, we have fun, we have a great time, and we enjoy the process. And it shows, you know what I mean? We, you can't fake it. I've been here 37 years. Come down here, you get it done, and there's no, like, thinking otherwise, really. I used to own the place with my brother, but he passed away uh, about a year and a half ago. We've been here for uh, 32 to 33 years, and uh, we try to do the best that we can. And I'm Billy Yatru, that's my dad. I've, I'm 34, I've been here since we started, and I think I'm stuck here for life. There's definitely people that have been coming since day one. They know our, our names, we know their names. We know what they get as soon as we see them coming in. The, the, the order is almost halfway done because we know what they get every single time they come in. If you have that family connection in the restaurant, then you're going to take care of everything that you do even more. So you'll go above and beyond, so I think it's pretty important. My cousin also works here, another Billy. And I think we both, in our mindset, wouldn't want to see this place like go into someone else's hands. It would be very weird for us to just let it go and move on to something else, because it's something that we grew up in. I hope they do that. <laughs> I did grow up in the North Shore, and so I grew up eating North Shore roast beefs, three ways especially, from being four years old, and I still eat them now, of course. The place that I went to, my father brought me to, was called Riley's Roast Beef. And I was four years old, standing at the counter, just like watching them put the beef together. And it was something me and my dad would do like every weekend. He'd take me so I could get like a little junior roast beef and he'd have the super. And I was like, one day I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna have the super beef, just like him. I mean, like literally, I've been addicted to beefs since that time. We definitely try to stay traditional to our roots of the North Shore, having that three way. But we do have people that ask, you know, for added onions or added pickles, and that's fine. Whatever someone prefers to have is their choice. But I would always recommend doing a three-way. I had grown up eating roast beef sandwiches just like everybody else in the North Shore. Everyone has their home base. Um, I won't reveal mine. We opened February 2nd, 2019. Um, as a butcher shop, which kind of, it still is now, but the sandwich thing really caught on. I break down the animals, we supplement a bunch of top rounds from the farm that comes with the cows that we source. Um, it's dependent on the farm how many we can actually make. So we'll kind of determine that on Wednesday or when we talk to them to source the cow. I'll come in Friday morning super early, slice it by hand for three hours straight, portion everything, weigh it, I get my number because right at 11 o'clock, it is like a bomb goes off. So I need to know what I have because it'll sell out just as fast as I can count. And it's been, it's been insane. It's been absolutely insane. People travel, people travel for this thing and have never even heard of it. And they're like, I know you guys have lines and this is popular. What the hell is a roast beef sandwich? Or what is this three-way thing? And they eat it and it's just like, where has this thing been my whole life? And it's like, literally every town has like four different shops that sell it. Like, I don't know where you're from, but like, you have to eat these things. I've been cooking for 12 years now. My career has been more like fine dining. So it was a big transition for me. I kind of brought like my culinary background into the roast beef game. Everyone's used to the same toppings all the time. Um, so I think some people were afraid to change at first. And they almost felt like I was disrespecting the North Shore beef, but I'm not. It's like, I grew up here, I love the three-way. When I get a beef here, most of the time I'll get a three-way. 
I have to be, kind of be in the mood for that different one. Being a chef and and working my whole life towards fine dining and then sitting here talking about American cheese too is a little crazy to me. Um, but really, like something about it, it's just the way the flavors work together. It's really good. All this talk about how it's just our thing. There's not no beef shops around like outside of the North Shore. I want to try to grow that and kind of let everyone around the country know like North Shore made this this beef and check it out.